Crowds of expectant family and friends wait outside the gates of insane prison in Yangon after news of an unexpected amnesty, specifically for those charged under a controversial article in Myanmar's penal code, banning fake news and incitement against the military, introduced after the February 2021 coup. 2,153 prisoners, both male and female, who are serving sentences under Article 505A at prisons across the country are on the amnesty list. Eventually the gates opened and the buses started to roll out. Anxiety and excitement on the faces of those on board, few of these prisoners expected an early release. I was arrested in 2021 on the first day of the silent strike on December 10th while covering the news as a photojournalist. I was charged under Section 505A and sentenced to three years. My husband is National League for Democracy Minister for Yangon, and I don't expect he'll be released. He's a journalist and sentenced under 505 to three years, so I hope he will be set free. Senior General Min Ong Lai is hosting China's foreign minister in the capital, Naypyidaw. Some believe Beijing may be encouraging the junta to soften its combative approach. Others think the concessions are a result of sanctions already in place. Economic sanctions that deprive the junta of the resources required to operate its war-making machinery would weaken its capacity to attack the people of Myanmar. Tens of thousands of political prisoners remain in jail with little chance of early release, particularly Aung San Suu Kyi, whose 33-year jail sentence could take her to the end of her life. Tony Cheng, Al Jazeera.